So, this is the bottom of one of our friend's feet here at Lexington Podiatry, and she's our friend and our patient. So, here's what can happen if you become exposed to the wart virus. You can get a wart that looks like this, and sometimes it starts off looking like this. So, this is really important. A lot of people think that they've either stepped on something or got scratched by something and so they don't really do anything necessarily because they don't know and then it turns into this warts don't always look like this this is pretty characteristic for what a plantar wart would look like a lot of people go to the regular store and they'll buy tons of treatments and try everything before they come here which i totally respect except that at this point now it's going to take multiple treatments not that she did that but some people do that and if you come when it looks like this, I can get rid of it in one treatment, but this is like a three treatment wart. So we're gonna show you today how we take care of warts. Um, we do use a scalpel um, and it doesn't hurt, although some people say that it gets a little tender. So what we're gonna do is kind of debride the top of the wart. And a lot of people ask me why I don't use a a blade handle not that that has anything to do with warts but um, I just don't need one when I'm only using it for a minute but if I was doing big calluses I always put a blade handle on so here's what the wart will look like after debridement and a lot of people are saying to themselves Psh, it's a wart I can live with it it doesn't hurt Sometimes they hurt, sometimes they don't. But here's the thing, it can spread. Like this one already had a baby. So what we're gonna try to do is eradicate both of them before they spread somewhere else. They can even spread on your hands, especially kids who pick at them. Or people who don't know what they are and pick at them because they think they're trying to help it. So what we're gonna do now, and we'll dust some of that dead skin off, is we're gonna take our Beetlejuice medicine or our Cantharone. And this may sting a little bit, but it may not. A little goes a long way here. And I am going to put just a little extra in this guy. And then, just so patients know, um, you can't get these wet for several hours, so I always say tomorrow morning you can shower normal, everything's back to normal. Um, we're going to cover them with a band-aid, barely. And then some patients like to put a band-aid on like tomorrow or the next day, which is fine. You don't have to. And then I tell everybody, it depends on the foot, but not to pick at them because the virus is open and active and it can get on their fingers so this is how you treat a wart this is her first treatment so we'll do guys here we are back with one of our favorite patients and this is the second video in this series because we are trying to show how the medication works on warts so I don't know how good of a look you can get but and you'll be able to see a comparison picture in our video this is where we treated her last time and here's what the wart looks like today. So there's still wart tissue there. Um, you can definitely see the differences between her normal tissue and abnormal tissue. So because I'm overzealous with a 15 blade, <laughs> I'm just gonna trim it just a little just to see if I can get anything off. When you get this medicine put on you, you sometimes can blister afterwards. And you can see, clearly she did. And uh, some people say they're painful. Everybody's pain tolerance is different, and that's totally fine. Some people tell me they didn't feel it. Um, you can walk on it to pop it, basically. Or, if you're excited with a needle at home, you can pop it yourself and just keep it clean and dry. So, I try to make these bleed just a little bit, as you can see, because warts have a lot of little capillaries in them. They're thieves. So I've got a little bit of bleeding, which is my plan here, and then we are going to treat her again. I over-treat these, as do my partners, because if you leave one little speck behind, they come straight back. 
And because she's young and healthy and didn't have a super bad reaction the first time around, I'm going to put a little extra on there for her because I know she doesn't want to do this forever. Um, it's usually about three treatments in unless it's either been on your foot for a really long time or um, it's huge. But about three treatments. So this makes her second treatment. And now I'm going to cover it with a bandage. She won't shower till the morning. And we will see you all next time when we are in our third installment of wart treatment on our favorite patient. Okay guys, this is our third treatment on a wart on the bottom of the foot on a super young patient. So you guys have seen the progression. I kind of remember it, but I'm really old. So let's see how it goes today. Third time is the magic charm for a lot of patients with this medication. Um, and as you can see, there's basically nothing here. But we are going to treat her. I do over-treat warts just a little bit because it's really important to get every little cell. Otherwise, you can have recurrence. So I'm a little aggressive. So as you can see, almost gone. We've been following her for several months. I'm excited for this to be over for her. I'm putting a little next to it because I see something weird. Okay. All right, guys. So hopefully this is the last time for our patient because she could be done. Perfect. You're the best <laughs> model.